forward to that familiar roar here at Kelston Boys High School. Shannon breaks one, then gets the pass away. Space now down the left hand side. They're breaking tackles for fun right now. Same oh. balls. Aggressive line speed from Mags and they drive him way back to before he started. The crowd erupts in the background. Into a little bit of open space now. Yellow jerseys coming across. Dags looking for a faster player. It links up with his fullback eventually. They're up over halfway. And back in field and get that into you. Great thing about college rugby league, it is you know exciting to watch. You can't turn away for a minute because you'll miss it. Well, hello everyone and welcome in to our first game of the day from the SAS College Rugby League Finals Night. We've got Auckland Girls Grammar School taking on Aorere College in the Girls Premier Niner Side Grand Final. Three games being streamed back to back to back tonight, culminating in the Auckland School Boys versus a Warriors Invitational side. So the uh, two teams now making their way out onto the field led by the match officials today. Big shout out to the Auckland Rugby League Referees Association, ARRFs.co.nz, or check out the Facebook page if you're interested in learning more about the association. So the two teams break from their pre-match huddles. Good crowd in here already today for the first game. Of course, a number of people will be staying for all three matches tonight. So it will be Auckland Grammar to kick off. And they'll be kicking down to the number one end here at Mount Smart Stadium. Listen to the crowd erupt as we await kickoff. 
Already to have first use of the ball once all their support staff get off the field. There's uh, people everywhere right now, which is a little interesting. I'll just wait and see. One in school uniforms playing fullback. <laughs> so underway. Already with first use of the football. If you wonder who that uh, dark voice is in the background there, my commentary partner, Troy Hardy, joining me for another one. The college finals night, always a real highlight. Uh, wonderful support we always get down here for this uh, event. Absolutely, and you can tell by some of the uh, octave levels coming out of the grandstand area. You know, uh, got great support down here for the girls today, so looking forward to a great match. So, old Eddie, shift the ball on and an early mistake. So, Grammar onto the football. And a chance to register first points here for Grammar. Third place through the regular season. Finished with five wins to their name. Aldeadi finished second with six. So fairly closely matched to the regular season. This is the 14 Rhodes. Jones. And then a looping ball over the top. Space on the left hand side now for Auckland Girls and bundled into touch. A good cover and tackle in the end by Gloria Iono. ready to pack in. So pressure off the scrum and then it's run out by Wheelett. Shoots out of the first one and then it's a big hit over the top and the crowd erupts as a result. They're 15 off their own line here, Aldeadi. Strong carry forward but credit as well to Rhodes who made good first up contact and then uh, recovered to have a second go. Center field they come now. A couple of big bookends there, getting a couple of good hard right yards in. Good another strong carry. Nice little switch on now down the left hand side and a chance for Old Eddie, although there's plenty of cover coming across and taking the ground is Kalolo. 40 out from the line now, Old Eddie. Shifting the ball again. Look at this, going coast to coast here. Moving down the right now, into space, the cover is coming, breaks out a one, and will go all the way to the try line. Old Eddie opened the scoring with a lovely piece of play, went all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and finishes in a try under the posts. And having a quick look at the SAS Sporting replay here, we can see they shifted it to the right-hand side and just held that pass up long enough for the uh, winger to burst through on the outside there. Got away from the defender and it was clear line here and look how happy she is. The finger's already up. She knew she was going in, but to make it just a little bit sweeter brings it round to the Hayden and roll it uprights. Kick good as well while we're watching the replay there. So it is Aoredi who lead. Six points to nil. Four minutes gone here in the SAS College Rugby League Premier Girls Grand Final. Try score is also converted around kicks here. Aoredi College takes the lead here. 15 minutes remaining in our first half. Aoredi College currently winning six points to nil. Well, the crowd is really excited here tonight, Corey. And if you're in the area, or well, you managed to keep your school uniform on, come down to Mount Smart too. It's free to get in, and you can watch the live league action all the way through to the big match tonight. And looking forward to that one, Corey. Yeah, it's going to be a great game, isn't it? And uh, looking forward to what we have coming before it as well. Disappointed you didn't wear your school uniform today, Troy. 
Grammar now on the football. Working it up towards the 40. And good contact that time from Mia Holo. Rhodes from center field and then getting whacked was Bokaya. Five short of halfway now, Grammar. Fighting for yardage as they go into opposition territory for the second time in this game. Oh, oh. Big <laughs> Holo, that's the second one she's dished out so far. Right side they come and they get to the kick. That's a pretty good set there from Grammar and it could get even better yet if this ball holds up, which it's looking like doing. Has to make a play at it. Cover coming across for Grammar does well to escape in the end. There's no one there at dummy half. Eventually someone arrives and then, Whoa. wow, that was ill-advised, although it somehow well to stay in. managed to stay in the field of play. Filippo gets an offload out the back and now out early head out to the right edge and a chance in the brewing here for Wheelett. Standing up, stepping back inside. Look at this, ducking, diving and weaving her way through. A number of broken tackles in there along the way. Dummy half now as Aono. Five short of halfway now already. Good set so far. Six and a half gone. It is already who lead by six. Charging through the middle now and breaking through the first one. Cover coming across and is dragged down, although told play on is the call and then taken down on the second attempt. They're about 20 metres out from the line now. Already a chance to register second points. Right side they come again. Wheel it down a narrow corridor. Lovely stuff and Wheel it will finish it in the far right corner. Referee points to the spot and already extend the lead to 10 points, kick to come. Having a quick look at the SAS Sporting Action replay here, and it was a fantastic run, got a great break, chewed up a lot of metres to get to this point, and really this was just all icing on the cake. Look at that looping ball out to the right-hand side there. Had the winger to beat from the opposition and managed to get around the outside of her and just too much pace, enough room to squeeze through, four points. So kick is away, it remains already 10. Walking Girls Grammar nil. Eight minutes gone here at Mount Smart Stadium number two. So back underway, the boot of old Eddie. It pops up and is claimed. Promptly set upon by Mary Masoi. Called to go back and play that one again. And was that a bobble? Looked that way to me. Might have got away with one there, Phoenix Rhodes. Ball flings out the back now and down the left-hand side they come, but the old Eddie side get their numbers. Look at the crowd and the shot at the back. So five short of halfway. Good first up contact, although breaks free and gets an offload away. They finish where the set Started to die away in the middle there, and now a looping ball out to the right-hand side. Tatao 
Ball loose. Strip the call, I think. Yes, it is. So they'll kick for touch here and a chance for Grammar to find their way back into this contest after conceding two tries in quick succession to start the match. Ten minutes gone and they trail by ten. Eggs on the attack. Five short. Fending and over the line. Ball came loose for me. Knock on the call. It's a good call from the match official, but uh, looks like strip may be the end result. It is, so another set coming up, but a try saver for old Eddie. Five metres to travel. Center field they come, Rhodes. Over for a try, this one should be okay. Points to the spot and wasn't able to pick up the number there. So we'll try and find that one for you on the replay. Number 11 it looked like to me and it is uh, Esther Pulipaki. Let's take a look here on the replay and you can see they come towards middle of the park. Rhodes clears from dummy half and then from here a little bit of suspect defense, you would have to say, from Old Eddie. Just got on the outside shoulder and then squeezed through two. So Ags on the board, 10-4, kick to come. Kick was good. I apologise there. We, uh, we'll try and get our replays over a little sooner just with the nine-a-side format. Uh, the kicks can come a little thick and fast. So if we do miss one occasionally, our apologies. Not a lot we can uh, do there. Of course, the nine-a-side game, as I mentioned, is a little different to 13-a-side and we get quicker conversions. So back underway. It is Old Eddie who lead 10-6. And now that's gone 10 and has recovered. Now was that Ford? Play on is the call. Kamuhimu charges forward. The dummy half, Lototau, to Bushel. Simao takes them to within 25 of the line. Namu. Bokaya. Fending across, and here's your try scorer. Pulipaki. 19 out from the line. Left side they come. Numbers on here. Stepping back in field. Going to go close. Pops the ball out the back. And a beautiful try from Ags in the corner. Lovely stuff and great vision from our man down in the end goal as well. Although. Called back and he's found a knock on in there. So we're going to have a scrum that packs down. A real shame there. That was a lovely try, Troy. And unfortunately... Uh, won't count on the highlight reel, but nice stuff from Ags who have found their way back into the contest. Yeah, absolutely. They seem pretty sharp when they're on the ball, aren't they? And um, they know how to get the uh, uh, support play, you know, from side to side on the park. So proving dangerous. Mind you, we've gone up and down the field a few times during this match as the girls get ready to pack in here. It's been a quick, close game. Pressure from the base of the scrum. Wheel it with a little bit of footwork. Gets down the side and just needed a little bit more of a gap and she was away. Oh, pops it out the back, unfortunately, to the wrong coloured jersey. So now Eggs back on the attack. 22 off the line.
Five to play. Ten out from the line now, Grammar. Kamuhimu. Goes to her right, finds Bushel. Directing traffic, goes up over the top, but cover coming across from Aoredi, that's good defence. Centre field. Will show and go in front of the Hayden and roll it up right and an offload which finds its way to Bushel. Hands over the top and this time it should be try time. Offload out the back. Oh, somehow, <laughs> old Eddie. How did they hold on then? Remarkable stuff. It'll dart out a dummy half. Not this time. Bushel will score. Ags over for their second and a chance now to take the lead with four to play. We're just coming at the back end of the SAS Sporting Replay here. Really, Corey called that early. She could have gone there. And, um, you know, looking for a friend. Couldn't find one, so we get up for a quick play of the ball here. Dummy half slots in. Knew everyone was at sixes and sevens. So she basically walked up, picked the ball up from here, and I think people were probably second-guessing, and really she went to shape to go right. But no, just ran straight at the referee. No defender there. Clean. Four points. So back live in time for the conversion. Okay, off the boot. But away to the right it looks like. So it will remain 10 points all. 17 gone. Three to play in the first half here. And as Troy touched on earlier, a fast-paced and... Side to side style game, enjoyable to watch so far. These nine side games tend to be that way. 10 all, fantastic result so far. And really, not too much, you know, separating the team, is there? No, not really. After that great start, Aldi really fallen away there in the last probably 10 minutes. And uh, it's been all about grammar. They can full advantage as well to score twice. So another restart. They regathered the last one. It's down that way and might find touch. It will find touch. Great work from Grammar. Tap and go. Bushel, the last try scorer. Hands off to Filoa. Rhodes. Kayat. Nale with the play of the ball to Rhodes. And Rhodes will look to her left. Well wrestled to ground that time by Wheelock. Ball come loose as well. Wow, she's having a great game. The number one for Aoredi. Yeah, knock on. under 60 seconds. Nice little drop on the inside there. Like the scrum play. Left the ball in there, trying to earn a penalty. Grandma went falling for it on that occasion. Down the short side they come. Strong carry for my own up. Oh, played the ball too hard. <laughs> well, they've recovered. Messi. So this will be the last set of the half, you would think. Anitoni. Strong carry into the opposition half. There'll be time for one more play here. 
before half time. Siren goes in the background. Waterval Eddie got in the bag. Offload out the back. This is nice stuff. They'll come up to the right edge now where they might have a numbers advantage. They kick in behind and now there's a little bit of foot race on and leading the charge for that foot race. Oh, Eddie oh. going to score right on the siren. Filippo with a spot of brilliance kicks for himself and then chases, beats everyone to the ball and what a way to go into the half. Absolutely, and as we catch the excitement from the SAS Sporting Replay here, we can see it was going to get shifted on the to the right edge and the hooter had already gone. Great presence of mind. A little grubber kick through. Look at the turn of pace here from the halfback. And at this point, just had too much speed. Beautifully weighted kick. Just set up nicely. Said, pick me. There you go. Four points and made that look easy. Kick's good. We go to the break. Well, we can see the great support down here, ladies and gentlemen. The Auckland girls' grammars are in, and they've certainly got a chant going over on the far side there, Corey. Don't go too far away, ladies and gentlemen, as we have the break at the half time mark, and we'll be back very, very soon. Thank you. 